Yeah. We're live. <laughs> We're live. Satya, everyone. My name is Elena Herrera, and these are my two friends today. This is... This is the... I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna let her introduce herself. The Akiwade? The Yeah, there you go. And then, uh, this is... Okay, today we're going to be learning about animals. Unfortunately, we couldn't be at the tribal affairs due to some um, things that's going on with the pandemic, but it doesn't stop us. So let's continue. Today we're going to learn about animals, and one of our first animals that we thought of was horse. We see horses everywhere. I was obsessed with horses at the time whenever I was her age. Are you? <laughs> she loves horses too. I love horses. I still love them. She's not obsessed. So, do you both know how to say horse? No. No? Not you don't know how to say horse? It's easy. So let me spell it out for you. Okay, I hope everyone can see this, but it's Chonge. Chonge means horse. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Chonge. Looks like sage. But it does look like sage. Chonge. It does look like sage, but it is pronounced a little bit differently. So it's pronounced Chonge. And then, um, what's Chonge? Horse. Horse. There we go. What's Chonge? Meaning horse. Meaning horse. How do you say horse? Okay. Yes, how do you say Shange? Yeah, there we go. It's pretty simple. Shange, horse. And then, uh, let me go ahead and just write horse down. Dad, would they ever, um, like, spotted horses and stuff? They ever pronounce, how do they pronounce those horses themselves? Nindeska. Nindeska. And like black horses. Shonge Sabe. Shonge. Shonge Sabe. Shonge Sabe. Shonge Sabe. Mm hmm. Spotted horse is called Appaloosa in English. Appaloosa. I like those kind of horses. And Ponca is called Nindeska. Nindeska? Yeah. <laughs> we got a little artwork going on bear with us all right so again what did you say artwork <gasps> my artwork does not take care of me so it doesn't really look like a horse but just an example this is shange horse shange horse i think it's pretty While she's getting ready for her next word, I'm going to give you a little history on Shange. The horse was first known to the Ponca by the Comanche. They call them Padonka. That's how you say the Comanche. And so anyway, when we got that, that horse, we got it from a battle. We used to fight them all the time. They used to come on these strange beasts. And we, we thought they were some kind of creature before we finally killed one. And uh, make a long story short, uh, we had the best bow and arrows. And they used to use a little antler. And they couldn't, they weren't effective. So we traded them the bow and the arrow that the Ponca made and the Comanche, they gave us a horse. And that's how we have our horse ceremony is with the Comanche, Padonka. But well, that's just a little brief history. Go ahead, Elena. Okay, so the next animal, uh, what, what would you want to know? Cow? Okay, 
Nice. So we're gonna learn about we're gonna learn how to say cow. So I do have a little my little girl, my little niece. Her her dog is named Cow, but it's in Ponca. I think it's really neat. Okay. Tesco. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys said it right. Alright. <laughs> we were saying it right the whole time. So, like I was telling them, Tesco. 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 Okay. Tesco. Now, if you were flu in a ponca, we'd just be talking cow, 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 cow. Moo. <laughs> Moo, that's exactly right. So even putting these on flashcards are um, what we're learning right now. You can put them on little flashcards, make your little own images. But cow, deshka. 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 how would you say a herd of cows? Deshka ma. This come on. So right here is the face come on. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so awkward. <laughs> okay. How would you say bull? This canuga. This canuga? Mm hmm. Okay. My favorite animal is a dog. So I want to learn how to say dog. So we'll do. I'm going to go get some water. Mm-hmm. Put a little V on the S. On top? Mm-hmm. Okay. Dog. Shanuda. 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 So whenever you're in Wadigo, you just be like, look at that Shanuda. <laughs> when you're in Wadigo, say Shanuda, Shanu do donba means look at that dog. That's a woman's way to say look at that dog. Shanu da donba. Donba. That means look. That's a woman's way to say look. A man says Shanu do donba ga. In Ponca, there's two other ways to say it. You say, she nuda. And then you could also say, shant nuda. All three ways are understood. And our Omaha relatives, they say, she uda. She uda. So our most commonly questions are cat and dog. So we just learned dog, which is sha nuda. But let's learn cat. And I'm going to have Mr. Rod pronounce it just before I say it, just so I don't say it in the, um, incorrectly. How y'all doing? Cat. In Ponca, since we come to Oklahoma, we have a different way to say it. In the beginning, we say Inglonga. That's the old ancient way for a common cat, but we don't use that way no more. When you say Inglonga, that means a, a puma or a, mount, a, a panther. A black panther is Inglonga, but that's the original way. But when we come to Oklahoma from Nebraska and South Dakota, we use this word, Pootsie. Pootsie. That means cat. It comes from the word pussy. <laughs> and that's the original way to say pussy cat, not the derogatory word. So don't think that way. Pootsie. 
But that's how punk will say it. Pussy. 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 get me so I'm getting used to because of the modern times but Ponka you just think about that pussy am I saying it right pussy like a pussy pussy like put like puss and boots yeah pussy puss no pussy almost like you're saying poo but pussy oh poo like Winnie the Pooh no like poo with a bp sound poo Pussy, like you're saying, boo and see. Pussy. Pussy, almost like you're saying boo, but pussy. Remember this peas and punk when it's got that little, that little uh, glutteral stop right there. It's it's making it say boo. Pussy. Find that out, but for now, we're just gonna do what comes to our head. Yes, sister, I heard him say that. I heard him say, uh, she uda. I heard our relatives, you guys, is up that way. I heard it said that way in Ponka. We say, Shanuda, she nuda, she nuda, she nuda. But my Omaha relatives told me, she uda, she uda, huh? Hoo hoo's a fish. Yeah. That's a common word for fish. Fish. It's H U H U. She's writing down. She want, she remembered a word in Ponca. Hoo hoo. That means fish in Ponca. Is there any like Pacific things that should be on it? Yeah. Two two uh, acute marks. No, above the use. Yep, like that. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. My mother taught me that one. It means fish. That means fish. It's a common word for fish. Fish, like Dory. When you get through hard times, just keep swimming. Hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> like this little fish right here. He's just swimming. He have, he's having a bad eyebrow down today, but it's okay. He's keep swimming. So, hoo hoo. Mm hmm. If you guys want to say any kind of animal, if we know it, just say it and I'll, I'll put it on there. Uh, if any of my Omaha relatives are on there, uh, how do you guys say armadillo? I know how to punk say it, but I want to hear how you guys say it if you have a word for it. Because I know they're all over, but there's a lot of them in Oklahoma. The, an Indian or the M A with a little tail, C with a V on top and a U. Like that? Yep. No, it goes over the U. Yeah. Okay. So, um. So Susie right beside me said she wants to learn how to say bear. So machu. Machu. Like achu. Like achu. No, 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 don't do that. Machu. 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 And it's just for bear. There's lots of other words that you can say, like grizzly bear, or little bear, big bear, whatever. There's all kinds that you can say. I'm sure the colors as well. But this is just a simple bear, which is machu. Can you still see us here? Mm -hmm. okay. Which is just machu. Machu. My little sister's name is machu. Well, whenever you say that word, there's only three words designated in Ponca to describe three words. And machu means grizzly bear. There's no such thing. It's just bear in Ponca. It means grizzly bear, but we just say it in bear, but... And when you talk about a black bear in North America, it's called wasabe, wasabe. And when you talk about a polar bear, it was rare that we ever saw one when we were way up north. It's called manchuska. I thought, 
Machuska. Wasabe is Buffalo clan. Wasabe. But wasabe, wasabe means black bear. Uh, T E. Te. Te was by the T and then the the E put a, a cute accent mark on it. That means buffalo. That's one way. And there's two ways to say it in Ponca, but that's a common way. There's two ways of like you said. There's two ways of saying buffalo. So this is just the common uh, way of how we say it. Here in Ponca, uh, T or T? T. T. And then what was the other one? Tatonga. Tatonga. So, T. And then whenever you're referring to the clan. When you're referring to the clan, it's spelled W A S. Let her spell it real quick. W A. S with a V on it. A with an accent mark. B E. Wasabi. Wasabi. Not to be confused with Black Bear. Wasabi. Wasabi is also a clan in Ponca too. Black Bear. Black Bear clan. A, S with a little V on top, and then an A with a, a cute mark. It's got a V on the S, but on the A, it's got an acute mark. That's a B E. So this is referring to the clan. R Buffalo clan, yeah. When the Omaha see that word washabe, it refers to a staff with them, but not to us. So you should only really do this unless you're referring to the clan? Well, that's the only meaning it has for us, but when the Omaha's are our, our counterparts, that means it's a sacred staff. But then, T, or T? Huh? T? For Buffalo? Yeah, T. Yeah, T E. Yeah. And you could also say Tatonga for buffalo. That's another way to say it. Little standing buffalo is my family. And it's called Tatonga no Jijinga. Tatonga no Jijinga. Little standing buffalo. T. A. T. A. Another T. A. With a, with a tail on the A. And on the bottom, though. That's right how you did on top, too, though. Yeah, Sedalia. And then G, A. They want to, uh, Tatonga means buffalo and ponca. Te also means buffalo and ponca. And don't get Tatonga mixed up with Tatonka. That's what Lakota say. Ponca say Tatonga. We got somebody who wants to hear how you say Bigfoot in Ponca. Okay, before we she erase that, it's Tatonga and Te. Tatonga and Te. Washabe. A, S with a V on top. A with an acute accent mark. B, E. Hang on, Mina Pabe. We're going to get it. It's Buffalo. Two ways to say it, but when you talk about the clan, it's Washabe, and we also have another Buffalo clan that people commonly call it ice clan. It's Nuche. Nuche in Ponca means ice, but it also has reference to the, the Buffalo clan. 
it refers to the mane on a buffalo whenever it's yellowish uh, red at that during that time is whenever they're starting to shed when spring comes about there's two buffalo clans so if you're going to write it like that well you got to write that fourth one and it has reference to a buffalo as well because both of those washabe and all them neither one of them mean buffalo but they're in reference to the clan that represents buffalo makwa Sis, go tell your mom I need my cord in the car and tell her I need my battery pack. I got 5%. I'm about to die. It's like down there. I don't ever charge this. The Kuliga, show. I need that battery pack and that, that cord. That cord's right there in that uh, Jeep. Is it open? Okay, now we're going Bigfoot. The mom has some keys. Bigfoot and Punk is called Inda Linge. Inda Linge. Uh, I with a little tail, a sedilia. That little tail is called a sedilia. D A. The A has a acute accent mark on it. Elena. You got a new cat. Gray eyes. Okay. Istan who they, Istan who they say say gray eyes. Uh, a D with a slash to it. A nozzle eye with a sedil with an eye with a sedilia. However you want to say it, same thing. G E. That I doesn't have nothing on it. It's just a regular dot on above it. That E has a a grave accent mark on it. We can still see it. Remember, you got all that light back here to lit up. Okay, in Ponka, you say Inda Linge. Inda Linge? Brian says it means no father. So you said Inda Linge? Inda Linge. Oh, no it's got a grave it's got a grave mark above that e grave means it's facing the other way like this look so you want me to put it the other way yeah the other way i don't know why i do this every time my battery's about to die you know i've heard this way i've heard this way pronounced no father and i've also heard it spelled I pronounce that uh, no face in Ponca when you say in day it's it's spelled like that where that a is it's a e and so it means in day and then any time in Ponca when you use dinge dinga or dingai or maji anji or baji it kills that a and makes it into a blunt uh, kills that e and turns it into a blunt a so whether whoever's right I've been told both ways but but it made sense to me the last way I was told because I already know, and if you know Ponca, whenever you, these are called negative markers, Dinge, Dinga, or Dinga are just different ways to say it and different uh, tenses to say it as well. But when you use Maji or Aji or Baji, it kills that E and it turns it to a, a blunt A where you see that accent mark, that acute accent mark. So also on O'Brien, I've heard it said that way too, and to me it makes sense it'd be no face. But who, who's right, I don't know, but I've also heard it no father as well. Because if it would be no father, it would be abbreviation of inda, inda di dinge, inda di dinge. It could be abbreviated, that, but I don't know. But like I said, another man told me it was inda dinge. It says those with no face or one with no face. And to me, that makes more sense. Like I said, you, when you understand Ponca, these are called negative uh, articles in Ponca. Dinge or maji, aji or baji. And it kills the E and it automatically turns it into what they call a blunt A. I need that uh, battery pack, that big one. No, I need that black battery pack. I only got 2% left. Does anybody else have anything they want to say? If we know it, like I said, we'll say it. How you doing, Jenny? Been praying for you guys. Black battery pack. Yeah. That big one? That big one. It's, it's fully charged.
Just get that cord real quick. Katie Santiago, this this day right here is our uh, this day right here is what they call our Ponca language class and our, our cultural part. But due to the coronavirus, uh, our tribe locked locked its doors, so uh, they asked us to to hold off until maybe next week. But we don't know, so we're just giving a little bit of a a little class uh, a little bit of class right now, uh, just to show that we're still representing and, and trying to honor what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep our Ponca people united and also to give them a, uh, 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 give them a little bit of knowledge and words and stuff. And there's a lot of things that you can say in Ponca that have multiple meanings, and uh, and you can be depending on the usage of the of the word that you're using has multiple meanings in some cases. So the thing, you're welcome, sister. And so in some of these cases, and it's not to argue or dispute someone, but it, the thing is, is we have to tell all that is known about it because there's so many ways that one could be one word could be used and if you don't know the usages of it then you're not going to fully understand it in a sentence when it's spoken to you even if even if the context is made known because if you don't know punk or the sentence structure it becomes difficult even for me if i don't pay attention yeah look 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 in there oh this here plug me up just plug plug it up to that unplug this deal and plug me up that battery pack's probably in there though son That fucking food's bomb. Hey, Elena. How you doing? Hello. Sorry I couldn't make it. doing fantastic. What are you talking, what are you guys talking about now? Oh, we learned how to say Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, you guys are still lit up real good. Every day. Every day. Squirrels, Rabbits birds, when they come out. Birds. Yep. Birds. Let's do birds. And then we're gonna do yeah. mice. Well when you say bird, the common word for birds, Wajinga. Wajinga is a generic term for bird. It can mean any bird, it's not specific or specified. I mean W A Z with a V on top. A Z. W A Z. No, it's a Z with a V on top. Remember, it erase that X and put a Z right next to that A. Wajinga. Yes. Okay. Now an I with a sedilia and an acute accent mark. G A. We'll get to that, Brian, about the stores of the giants. Mm -hmm. We can see it bright. Your lights make it look distorted. Oh, okay. So we got. We got Wajinga means bird. It's a generic term in Ponca. When you talk about birds, there's so many different species in Ponca. I only know, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 of them. There's, there's too many. I don't know them all. Wajinga? It means bird. Wajinga. It sounds like um, Sheldon when he says Wajinga. But I love that show. My big what is theory. it? Have you seen that show, My Big Bang Theory? <laughs> you need to watch it. This guy in there, he says Bazinga. That's what it sounds like. Mm, Wajinga. Uh, don't mind me. Wajinga. Wajinga. How you doing, Christy? How's everybody doing, Paula? 
Martinez, it's good to see y'all repping OKC. I believe I might be wrong. Sometimes I talk to so many people, y'all overlook me. S Q U I R R E L. In Ponca, you call a common tree squirrel or even a flying squirrel. They, they're designated by the same name. It's called Sintga. Sintga. In Oklahoma, all we see are tree squirrels in different parts of the United States and the West Coast and other places. They got flying squirrels, but not here. But that word is still used for Sintga. Or one, uh, I heard somebody else would try to say Sintga Gion. That, did, that literally means flying squirrel, but I've, I heard they were the same thing, Sintga, but... Like I said, I'm not nobody to, to know everything. Sinka. S I It's like that thing by gave out. There you go. I with a acute accent mark and a sedilia. G A Sinka. But when you talk about a ground squirrel, a ground squirrel is one that looks like a prairie dog. It's like a prairie dog, but it lives under underground, like the same way a prairie dog. And, they, and and when I was in California, they make the same sound, the exact same sound to me as a prairie dog. And uh, you call them chlint. Chlint. It's a ground squirrel. Can you guys see that? That's sinka. 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 Sis, what other animals do you see every day? When you say turkey and ponca, it's called zitsika. Some people say zitsika, but I've heard them said both ways, but I was told the correct way is zitsika. Zitsika. Not good. Zitsika. Yeah. Put Z Z. Z I Z I. Z I Z I. Z I Z I. Uh huh. What is it? K A. Zika. Sometimes it sounds like you're saying Zika, but it Zika means turkey. It's a common turkey. Bird with a gobbler. When they gobble around and you make that gobble sound, it's called it's called Zika hutan, hutan. And if they you hear them scream, they call it. Zai or Zai depends on depends if they're gobbling or if they're like scared or making a crying sound or a panic sound changes from hutan to so how did Zai. You say turkey? Huh? How did you say turkey? Z Zika. Zika. Look, there's a kitty. Okay, so that's turkey, and then sis was talking about how she wants to learn how to say eagle. There's a lot of ways to say different types of eagle, but the common form is just to say eagles. Chida. 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 But you raise it at the end. Chida. Chida. It's almost like you're saying kida, but it's chida. But you, but you gotta, you gotta kind of slow it down because when you're putting too much, like you're saying. Like you're raising it there, but the, the raise, the acute accent mark doesn't go there. It goes on the A on T H A. So it's Chida. 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 You raise it on the Tha. Chida. That's a generic way to say eagle. And then you got, excuse me, you got a black eagle. It's called Chida. Sabe. 
when you say a bald eagle, there's two ways to say it. You could say chidat skull, it means white eagle. But that word's also designated for bald eagle. You could say passant. Passant. Boss, one word, son is another, and that just means a white head. Instead of using ska, it's white. It's also used white, but son literally means off white, pale white, or. So how did you spell ska? Uh, X I. X? Yeah, that's why you get that ah. And then a D with a slash to it. Beeps, get my battery pack out of there. Someone in pockets is a big battery pack. I need it because I need to use this light on it. It's getting dark now, but I can still see everything she's writing. And the A. And with that A on it, Any, just look in there. It's somewhere in there. It's in there. Are you talking about a uh, portable charger? Yeah, it's in there. It's a big one. All you had to say. Battery pack. Put that, uh, that acute marker over the A. Which way? Acute means this way. Remember, this is acute. Oh. Yeah. Chila. And then when you say a golden eagle, it's called. Now you put that the accent mark on a golden eagle goes over the eyes. Chida hunger, chida hunger. Instead of chida, it's chida hunger. Chida hunger is a golden eagle. So just eagle on itself is chida. 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 But you gotta raise it more at the end. Chida. I don't know, Dad. Just because it's getting. Dad, I'm not finding it. What pocket is it in? This ain't no Lakota deal, sister. It's not one blee. It's Chila. What is that? Keep, on there? No, my sister. Keep that up there in uh, up north, yeah. H. China. Yeah. Why, well, is she trying to pronounce it like that? No, she's just teasing me. She always teases me. She's like that. And, and like I told you guys in my other class, it's like my brother Brian saying, because that X, that X is a glutteral sound. Glutteral. Glutteral. It's like you're trying to spit and hack a loogie up. Like when you say, want a hack a loogie? Hey, hack that shit, Brittany. Hack that shit. Excuse me. Beams, get this charger. It's mom's charger here. That's a special charger. Plug this up down here. When you say spotted eagle, you say Chida Gleje. Chida Gleje. What the hell? There it goes. Beautiful Ponko women. All right, we're going with that one. Okay, like uh, like my sister said, spotted eagle, and and when uh, when they say spotted eagle in Lakota, my sister always wants to know Lakota. It's it's Wambli Gleska, but in Ponca, it's uh Chida Gleje. Well, it could also be it could also be uh, Chida uh, Gleska too. That word is accepted in amongst the Ponca. It's accepted. Okay, so what other one? Maybe about two more. Because Elena has to get home and get ready for work tomorrow. We're going to do two more, you guys, if you guys have anything. How you doing, Tisha? Oh, when you say fox, there's a bunch of ways to say fox, but I'm only going to use one that we see as punkas in Oklahoma. No offense to you punkas up north, but there's only one fox we see down here, and that's a red fox. And I ain't talking about your glasses alike either. That man that passed away, we're talking about a fox. So anyway, when you say fox in Ponca, you say the red fox is the only fox that we see. And it's Majon, huh? M A with a little sedilia on the A. Z with a V on top of it. And the A and with a sedilia. And an accent acute uh, accent mark on it. 
and then HA. Majant ha. Majant ha. That means red fox, and then when you say a gray fox, you say uh, Tika. Tika, who The Omaha's use that word Tika for fox in general nowadays. But there's a common way for a generic term for fox in punk. It's called Malinka Shije. Malinka Shije. Malinka Shije. It's a general term for punka to say fox. What was that again? For which one? That one? Majan, huh? Candace, when you say that ain't that don't mean tail feathers. I don't mean that. When you talk about a bird's tail or, e or eagle's tail feather, you say khida inbe. Khida inbe. When you say khida hinkbe, that's talking about the downy feathers of the chest and underneath the wings, those little white soft feathers. That's what that word means that you just wrote. Shelby, you're right, nephew. But it, it's not ebe, it's inbe. When you use that word for tail, there's only two species that use that, birds and fish. Every other animal uses seen day. And Candace, if you say the land, you say majan la. Majan la. Not majan ha. Or you could say thunde la. Or you could say malik la. Those are three ways to say the land. One more animal. Elk. And Ponka, there's two ways to say elk. One's adopted and one's the ancient way. When you say elk, elk and Ponka, you say umpa. Umpa. A lot of Ponkas with that name. And my little brother, Robert uh, Collins, is Ponka named Umpa. There's a long story behind that. It was just cute. Hey, my Uncle Henry said to him and teased him. But I'll tell you guys that another time. It's getting late. It's spelled A with a sedilia, and then you put that acute accent mark above the A, and then you put a P with a glutteral stop, and then you put another A with a sedilia under it, and a grave accent mark on it. When you say water monster, Candace, you say wakondagi. Wakondagi. That really that, that word technically means water god or water deity, but it has become in modern times and it doesn't mean just water monster, it just they just use that word for monster. But it really meant water god or water deity. When you say elk, you say umpa. Umpa. And then when you say elk the adopted way, there's a lot of punkas in the Washabe clan and uh elk clan which is Nika Pashna. Nika means Human, false head, and shna means shaved. It means a bald, shaved head, but it has reference to the elk, nika pashna. But whenever you say elk and uh, the adopted way came from the Dakota, but we've been using for centuries before the Ponca or the Omaha split, it's called hey chaga. Hey chaga. It's that X. Hey chaga. It's about H. E with an acute mark above it. X A G A with a grave mark above the A. Hey Chaga. Hey Chaga. How you doing, Evan? Huh? Shh. Elk is Umpa or Hey Chaga. And then when you talk about the clan, you say Nika Pashna. Has reference to the elk. This? No, those two words just mean elk, but when you put the elk clan, it's called Nika Pashna. N I K A P A S with a V on top of it, N A. Nika Pashna. This means elk. Yeah, where did that street uh, blue elk come from? That's just the name, but the, and when you say blue elk, it's Ampatu. How you doing, Courtney? How you doing, Ev? Miss you guys. Elena loves you too. 
Alicia? Sometimes. Sometimes when you don't call me back. I'm kidding. Love I love you too, sister. I'm kidding. I love you. <laughs> You're right, you're right, Brian, what you're saying, brother. You always, you know what you're talking about. I tell people that, too. That's why we need you down here to help us. That's why I told Mama, too. Go ahead, Atlanta. Close us out. Close us out with a prayer, too. We forgot to pray in. Overlook us. Pray for the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Close us out with a saying and then you can pray us out. Hi, nephew. Elena, Elena doesn't. Sorry. Well, you could, uh, you could close it out then. I still have to go to work tomorrow as far as I know. So I got to go home and sleep. And yeah. Good job. But, <laughs> but um, hopefully we'll see you guys at Tuesday. If not, we'll, we'll try to do this again with the live. And just everyone be safe out yeah. there. Uh, wear your mask in public. And just take COVID-19 precautions. Um, but... Yeah, um, we'll try to uh, maybe even do it on this board instead, do little videos for our page as well. Uh, I've been wanting to do good evening and then maybe some other animals like this, so that'd be great. And then, um, well. She did a good job. I'm proud of her and all these guys that participated. And I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching. And uh, uh, I just want you guys to know that we're thinking about all them people, you old relatives, that little girl or little baby that got uh, tested positive. We're praying for you guys and all you uh, old, uh, Osage and Carl and Pawnee and Tonquas that might have or anybody in general, no matter what uh, walk of life you come from, we're praying for you. <laughs> And I just want to say I thank God that uh, there hasn't been that so far that I know there's no Ponca case that has been cur confirmed on our Ponca people, Ponca Niashigama. And um, I just want to say I love you guys and I just want to say thank you and just uh, be safe and pray for us. And and I just ask God to watch over each and every one of you guys and uh, and, and be helpful with one another, but I also be uh, cautious and safe and wear your mask if you have to. I've been wearing my mask past two days, so I love you guys. Shana.